What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I am Pete. I am a top player playing Risk Global Domination on PC. If uh, I have a daily release on YouTube, I do a fixed game every Friday. I do the Waiting on Your Best Paper podcast on Wednesdays and every other day. I do whatever I feel like. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Come along the ride with me. Uh, today I am doing Fixed Friday live on my Twitch. Uh, we're going to get into a little bit of a philosophical chat, if and when possible. And also we do the regular sort of run through the strategy, how to play the classic fixed. Settings for this game are global domination on classic map, auto second, uh, auto setup, 60 second turn, expert AI, and we don't have any yet fixed cards, balance, splits, dice. Uh, no filtering of rank alliances are on, fog and blizzards are off, and I'm in the final position. Um... Currently ranked as a master, Bird Blintz from Bangladesh in the 22,000s. In the first position, we have Hunter, Vise 555, five, five, flying the flag of the United States of America. With 52 hours played, seven, 27 wins and 81 losses. In position 2, we have Master Cossack, flying the flag of Germany, 25 hours played, with 10 wins and 53 losses. In position 3, we have General Moonflare, 10781, from the U.S. of A. Four hours played, one win, and six losses. The Magenta player in position 4 is Chris, from the United States of America, won 16 hours played, 24 wins, 93 losses. The Purple player in the fifth position, General Shvela, 11021, from Canada, seven hours played, and no ranked wins. Watch out for Purple, he's going to do something crazy and dumb. And finally, myself in the final position. Bird Blintz from Bangladesh, as I said, currently ranked as a master 22, 23 thousands. Um, 21 hours on this account with a losing record of 19 and 20. And we're trying to even it up again. What is up? What is up? We got FIFA Fanatic. Hi. Hi, FIFA. Hi, Andre. Hi, Relord. What's up, guys? Just doing a little fixed Friday before I have to go plow some snow, so... That's the time it is, and that's the show we're going to do. I think I'm going to lose this four stack to purple, which will be a crying shame. I don't want to get the hell away from purple if he does that. Ready for Fixed Friday? You better believe it, buddy. You better believe it. It's Thursday night. I almost didn't have a show ready. But because I am a dedicated mofo, I wanted to make a show for all of you. And this is what we do on Fridays. Do we have a bot? Do we have a bot on the first turn? That's a bummer. Yeah. All right. Uh, Magenta player bots. Almost gets an easy take on me. All right. I expect to see purple add, and I expect to see purple hit that four, because look. Sorry, that's me. Um, first half of the prophecy fulfilled, and let's go with the second half. Yep. How did I fucking know? So you all know that I'm reading his mind. That is the move of someone who doesn't win any games. That is what you would do if you didn't ever win any games. All right, so I can either double down and then get into a war of attrition with the player who has nothing to lose, or I can go elsewhere. Um, Yeah, I'll let him push through a three stack and go elsewhere, I think. Do you know how to use alliances? Player who hasn't won a game? I'm guessing the answer is no. Okay. Well... I do what I always do in a pinch and consolidate in the middle of the board. I'm trying to see if I have enough time to stream one more game tonight. Oh, you're streaming, Andre? Nice! I'm awake in a storm right now on the south coast of England. Yeah! You might be getting the same storm we're getting. Hey man, did you see the five-a-side results, winky face? What are the five-a-side results, Tyler? Did you win five-a-side? I see Tyler is in a chat with uh, Lord Trident and Under the Gun and Amerigo. I wouldn't know where to check the five-a-side results, so why don't you just tell me? 
Indeed we did. Hey, congratulations, bro. Well done. You and Amerigo were the 2v2 team. Um, or so he told me. Kegger says, you got your work to do now. Yeah, I do. I do. We're in the middle of a snowstorm right now. So I'm trying to get my Fixed Friday game in um, before I have to go and work all night. So at least I'll... Yeah. Okay. So we now have a second bot in this game. This is going to be interesting. Greenbot going to let me leave, though. It's going to let me move through him. That's perfect. I can hang out in Afghanistan with the big stack and wait for these bots to punch each other for a while. All right. Remaining humans in this game now are essential that we are friends. Because if we have two bot outs by the second turn, Red just goes punchy punchy or what? Okay. Red just wants to occupy a piece of Northern Asia. Pete can't wait to stream us tomorrow because it's too late to stream for myself. Storm rain is 105 miles per hour wind. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's raining real hard. Yeah, I bet you are getting the same storm that we got here. It looked like it was coming up the just uh, just south of us and heading out east across the Atlantic. So I bet you it's hitting you now in the south of England. All right, so yellow's going to take up a position in North America. And yellow's going to be next to the dangerous, crazy person of purple. Neither red nor yellow wanted to team with me. And yellow didn't take Australia. Magenta bot hits here. Yeah. And blocks me from connecting. I have to connect through mid-east, which I still will do. He's not going to give me any easy road for, for a connection. Look at this. I'm going to be down to two territories by my second turn. Instead of letting seven troops out of South America, the purple player sought to destroy them instead, leaving himself with a very weak guard. Ooh. I have half a mind to go like that and set myself up to steal it don't think that's the move. I think the move is... Hope to consolidate those stacks in a future turn. It would be very satisfying to punch that purple player out of South America though, wouldn't it? Uh, damn, how is R5, Pete? Or do we wait for the VOD? Well, you won't get a VOD because I couldn't stream it. Because it was fog. So I'm going to post the show. I think tomorrow will be Friday. We'll fix Friday and then uh, Saturday I'll do the, the round five. I can give you spoilers. But seeing as how I'm posting the show, there should be a spoiler alert, alert associated with that. But if you guys have access to the tournament spreadsheet, you can see how I did in my game. And I hope I made the semis. Also, now I'm looking for that uh, that five aside result because it is pretty awesome that Tyler and Amerigo's team would have won. So, congrats, bro. I see. Tourney info, tourney sign up, tourney settings, game results. It's not there yet. What did Magenta even do? Yeah, it could be set up to take Oz, I guess. Cut through here, sit in Afghanistan, and then jam down. I don't love Oz. <laughs> Purple's going to contest it. Sure. <laughs> yeah, hit a four and a three to do it, too. Lovely work, sir. Just a masterpiece. Not guarding his bonus at all. I 
I have my target locked. And I got the 10 match on three. Activate Australia Turtle. TX Imperialist, been keeping up with question period. What do you mean, question period? Uh, Century Registered, lovely fix Thursday, starring scary risk players. I don't know, I'm not even all that scary. But you must be talking about the other folks in this game. Surely Red's not going to block me off from taking Australia. What is Red even doing? <laughs> it looks like he's feeding someone the kill on the Magenta bot. Goes to Africa. Okie dokie. Question period, you're talking about uh, Parliament? You think I watch politics? <laughs> Spoiler alert, I do not watch politics. All right, it won't be an easy take for Australia, at least not yet. Sure would love to see yellow slam into purple down there, though. I guess I don't need a bonus. Magenta Bot can have three cards. Can I kill them? I think if I move to India, I can line up the kill on Magenta next turn. That might be the way to look at it. Come on, hit the six, baby. Hit the six. I want to see that happen. Because you know I am poised to snag that. All right, I got the set. I think I traded. I don't want to be sitting. I don't want to be sitting on a match in a single territory. There. Let's just make sure we get right under. You don't want red getting too many extra troops either. For holding most of Asia. <laughs> Green butt matches in Oz. Alright. So the kill on Magenta is the move. So here's what I expect to happen now. I expect red to put in here and forget about all this. That makes the kill on Magenta easier. I expect yellow to take... North End. Yep, that part of the prophecy fulfilled. Ooh, hits a four stack of purple. Alright, I'm I got more troops in purple now. They got a set though. Magenta down to eleven troops and three cards. They got a fourth card, I'm killing them next turn. Yellow matches in with the 10 set. I think that goes in North America. And they make me killing Magenta even easier. Let's see it. Yep. Okay. Eight troops remain. Who kills Magenta? If Magenta doesn't set in now, I don't think Purple does it. Yeah, Yellow takes North America. Give him a hearty thumbs up. Well played. Damn it. Magenta sets in. I don't get the kill. Okay. Green 
Something's looking like a little fishy now. Set myself up to get that bounty. I also want to see a war here. Either way, if they attack yellow, right? They're set up to piss off yellow on one of these two positions. If it's this one, I snag Australia. If it's that one, I'm laughing because... Yeah, good. Use your set. Use your set on not me. And it looks like they break North America. Hey, what do you say? What do you know? It looks like yellow loses as well. Okay. This game's going to go good for me. Um, I'm going to position myself to kill Magenta again. And I could also strike green if green gets taken out of Africa. Either way, this leaves me both roads. Purple pissed off yellow. Maybe yellow puts troops in here and removes them from that pocket. Green going to be holding three cards, 21 troops. That might be worth killing green. we got two bots right off the bat. Yo, 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 what up, RJ? How you doing, buddy? Yeah, green loses that. Okay, so I can take green out. 17 troops for three cards. That seems worthwhile. Seeing as how I'm pretty much tied for the troop lead without holding a bonus. I'm going to do the double shot. Kill green and kill magenta. Be nice if magenta took one more card. And in the process makes green easier for me to kill. Yeah, no yellow's in a spot. Yellow doesn't know what to do. Ah, uh, doing one of my famous streams apparently to people that love making alt accounts to get me drunk. <laughs> yeah, how many beers in are you, bud? Every follow is a five second, five second chug, and sub is a whole beer. Woo! This guy, you know this guy. Go support RJ, ladies and gentlemen. Give him a follow. Let's get this man smashed. Kill both in the same turn. I might. I might. It's not quite worth it though. Let's see if uh, if purple makes it easier for me. <laughs> no, I think I kill green and I take Australia. <laughs> oh, wow, what a dumbass. Oh, my God. <laughs> Stupid pink bot. Hey, man, you let that pink bot hold, us, hold Europe, then we got a strong bot in this game. This is amateur hour. Yeah, no shit. Fuck, you see that? Woo-hoo-hoo. Pew pew pew. pew. <laughs> uh, hilarious. All right, I'll take that. And I made a friend in yellow. Cool. Ah, that's too bold. Nah. I don't think it is too bold. Who's going to hit me? This guy doesn't want to be, He'll hit me. That guy doesn't want to be my friend. Okay, fair enough. Take Australia. Howdy, Pete. Hey, cowboy. Pete wins the game? Maybe. You guys all know Australia is only a staging area. You don't win by being no Australian turtle. You win by being sneakier than that. I predict red breaks magenta. Is a pretty cool dude to work with the pimp bot then? Yeah, exactly. What level of freedom? Ah, let's get into the topic. Yes, Lewis. What level of freedom? Well, that is an open question on purpose, right? What does freedom mean to you? So, I know what freedom means to me. I actually hold it as a cardinal virtue. But I don't think everyone thinks about it the same way I do, and I don't think they need to. So... I've often thought about what it means to be the most free I can be as a man in this world. And um, the the conclusion I draw from that is you don't want a bot on your border. You just don't. The bot's going to break you now. It's going to roll 9v7. Watch. 
<laughs> okay, or 4v3? No, the bot, don't, bot wouldn't do that. Um, I think freedom is a cardinal virtue because I at least want to believe that I have agency in this world and that my choices are meaningful. Um, what the fuck, when did you go live? I completely missed this. 20 minutes ago. We are 20 minutes in to the game. Oh, Bull's here. Hey, Bull. How are you, buddy? Everybody's here hanging out. It's lovely. All right, at least I got a bonus. Do I break the bot? Or do I just hit a bunch of shit? That doesn't matter. I think that bot breaks Africa. <laughs> I do. I really do. I'm good. How are you? I'm good, buddy. I got to work tonight, so I'm uh, getting my fixed Friday in before I have to go. Otherwise, I might have missed the show. Let's see what uh, Red does about that. Does Red hit me? No. Red takes it all back. What's his plan? Just take some of it. He breaks Europe. Alright. Orange, or yellow player rather, has... He just wants a lot of territory. The man just wants a lot of territory. Okay, cool. Let's let him have a lot of territory. See, so yellow with 18 troops and 4 cards. 21 troops and 4 cards would be a good fish if any of these guys knew how to kill him. I think there's conflicting freedoms. Yes! Um, basic liberty theory. Um, you should have as much liberty as is possible such that your liberty does not infringe upon the liberty of others. Um, but if you want to expound on what you mean by conflicting freedoms, I, I would like to hear it. Um, JK, but on the topic of freedom, I would say that the less dependent you are from other people, the more freedom you have. I think that is illusory. Um, I think at our very nature, we are extremely dependent on others. Um, and that is just what it means to be a human. So I think you, you may have the illusion at some point in your life that you are truly free of others. But um, how does the quote go? Standing on the shoulders of giants. I, I, I don't want to misquote it. Um, Isaac Newton. Uh, phrase can be tra traced to the 12th century John of Salisbury wrote. All oh, right. If I have seen a little further, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants, implying that what he was able to see and accomplish had everything to do with those who came before and their and their greatness, right? Let's see him lose the 3v1. Get those two cards, baby. I love it. I love starting wars. All right. Yellow player dies. Cool. Now there are two players with a bot. Um, so Lewis is saying, being free of violent crime means that others are less free to be violent criminals. Well, that has a lot to do with what we do with people who are violent criminals. I think incarceration is incredibly inhumane. But I have a very radical idea on the alternative of that, so... Do I break my ally? Or do I let purple and red fight? I want to see what purple does with these troops. Okay, I'll bite. What to do if not incarceration? I think uh, I think the crimes that are actually crimes should be all capital. 
<laughs> but I don't think many things should be illegal. I think society, I would completely restructure the legal system. Um, the um, they have to play Pete. <laughs> I think the the profession of lawyer is unjust at its at its fundamental core. Um, the notion of justice. Um, if you have a legal system that is truly just, it should be able to be understood by the simplest of those that it governs. So, requiring a professional who will pay, um, who you will have to pay an exorbitant fee to consult for their service, um, seems like such a bastardization of justice. And I think society has a great way of self-correcting what we all mutually deem as correct um, without the need for too many unnecessary laws. And those of us who are truly irredeemable, why on earth would I want to spend money keeping those people alive if they do not add to our society? That's the thought. Um, well, we can make issue. Let's bring back trial by combat. I love it. If all crimes are capital, well, I'm going to die for robbing this person. Better kill them so they can't turn me in, or how would that work? Yeah, it would be a very violent generation, but you would... Um, it's, it's a eugenic idea, so you guys can, can give me all the fair criticisms of eugenics, but ultimately the thought is that um, you are removing an unwanted element from your, your future gene pool. I'm, I'm predicting we see a war between red and purple, and I think I just have to stay out of it for a while. <laughs> Bull says, I agree, travel and combat. I love it. Um, JK, well, we can make each other free by doing things like farming and building houses that free time for others, but that usually requires us to do something for them, thus reducing our own freedom to some extent. Well, that implies that work is not its own reward. Which I think culturally we've been conditioned to believe that work is somehow a cost to you. Um, and I think a lot better way to frame work is the idea that something given has no value. So we appreciate the things that we have earned, not the things that we have just been given for nothing. Um, so with that in mind... I really do think that the things I choose to work really hard at are their own reward for me. Um, purge Hunger Games. Might as well do it. <laughs> as evil as it is, if the big evil cucks want to be wicked, screw them, send them to Purge Island. I don't exactly know what you mean there, but Purge Island. Reporter in today's new The Long Island Killer decides fate on Rust Snipers only. Okay, so... Purple's fighting the bot. But he's not fighting red. Bot has 31 troops and is surrounding me. I'm going to take a little bit off the bot. See what happens to that. In the slight lead at 48 territories to Red's 46. Purple's at 30, and so far has been a good friend to me. Red's gonna set in. Do we see a break? Also, traveling Maddie says, haha, I just paused the Amerigo video to check out Twitch and boom, more KPS. I love it. Thanks, Maddie. I'm here for you, my friend. Here's a scenario, says Lewis. Are you more free in a violent democracy or a peaceful dictatorship? That's a great question. Freedom to vote versus freedom to walk the streets safely. Okay, so I do not believe that the freedom to vote is currently a meaningful freedom. And some of you might agree with me. Um, some of you might think I'm nuts. The choice that we are able to make by voting is a non-choice, right? You're able to choose between the blue team or the red team. Um, the problem is that each of those options will result in the exact same outcome. Um, 
And I think anybody who believes that any other person would have do, done a better job at X, Y, or Z political thing is fucking kidding themselves. I think the only political issue of any relevance is electoral reform. So we can march and we can protest and we can fly our flags about whatever we believe in and absolutely nothing will ever change because it can't change. Because it is not designed to change. I have the troop lead. I have a slight troop lead. I think I will take my option at this point. To remove the bot from existence and take his four cards. I hope it's not all singles. Will it be a good move? Will it be a bad move? Only time will tell. At least there's one less player on the board, and I have a very strong guard. Alright, so we're pretty much tied. 57 to 59. Three player endgame. This one went quick. Alright, what else did we get? So yeah, so to, to actually answer the question more, I think we are much more free in a violent... Um, we are much more free in a peaceful dictatorship than we are in a violent democracy because what we have isn't anything close to a democracy. We have a lie. And we have such a pernicious lie that you believe that you have the right to choose between the assholes who fuck you. And that is so adorable. Um, freedom is whatever you want, says Bull. Whatever you want to do, say, etc. As long as it doesn't infringe on others. Yeah, li basic liberty theory. Right? You want to be the most free as long as your liberty does not infringe upon the liberty of others. Um, JK says, if more people had that attitude, work being its own reward, we could reach the next level of organization of society. That's what I'm trying to talk about. I just feel people in general are quite too selfish for that. But, but that's the genius of it, right? Work being its own reward. You can incentivize people to work really hard at something um, out of selfishness. That's what markets do really well. So, all right, purple's going to take Africa. Purple can have plus five, red can have plus five. If purple and red team up, I lose. So how do I create a war again? I have to let one of them get greedy. Hit him? <laughs> you want to hit him? No, he wants to take Africa. Um, so anarchism. Anarchism is the extreme form of selfish freedom. It is. Um can't change is so right the unstoppable for well things can change we just haven't designed a system to replace the one that enslaves us so completely um, Lewis so the argument is that it doesn't matter because elected officials are relatively powerless because so much power is wielded by non-elected institutions the media civil service no um, well, sure, yeah, yeah. If our democracy were to work the way it would purport to, why can't we vote on our own legislation? Why isn't everything a referenda? Who is the best fit person to represent my interests? Me, right? And that is universally true. So the perfection of politician, these people who are elected not as technical experts, but as folks who their skill set is getting elected, right? Like, hey, we got gift subs. Thank you, RJ. Thank you, thank you. Right? The skill set of politicians is getting elected, not the technical skill of governance. No wonder they fail us so completely in every way, because they can't represent you. They represent themselves. And very well. They vote their own raises. <laughs> Garbage. Um, what are my thoughts on Justin Trudeau? Don't have to answer. You won't want to just hear. No, no, I'm happy to talk about it. So I think that the time for civil disobedience is long past in Canada. So the fact that civil disobedience is occurring now is a good thing. Whether or not I believe in and support every single bit of the trucker protest and what they stand for, obviously not. <laughs> right? 
you 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 fly one Nazi flag though, and all of a sudden they're all Nazis, which is a very interesting way the media likes to spin their bullshit. So is it time for change as far as COVID mandates in Canada? Yes. Were protests necessary? Yes. Is Justin Trudeau wholly failing the country? Yes. But that does not presuppose that another politician wouldn't have done an equally abysmal job. And that's my basic contention, is that the relevant political issue is electoral reform in all possible cases. We need to get rid of the idea that these people have jobs. They do not serve you at all. They fail so utterly. And I'm sure more people will start to understand what non-representational democracy looks like if I don't shut the fuck up about it. Pete, do you think it's a good idea to stream more? <laughs> You're talking about yourself? Yeah, always stream. Always stream, real lord. If it's fun for you, buddy, just keep going, man. And this war is heating up, so I just have to stay out of it long enough to get super strong. Okay. Nice is just another yes man, yeah. Lewis, work is its own reward for you. It's part of a reward for me, but the money really helps. Dude, the money when you don't have it is one of the most important things and I'm not I'm trying to minimize or diminish that. Red player is gonna try and squirm and get out of their spot. All right, probably getting 10 a turn. Very nice, very nice. Manny asks, how do you stop sociopaths with the power to gaslight the world, or at least half? Um, electoral reform. You stop giving them power. You, you distribute power amongst everyone we are, so that we are all equivalently good decision makers. And also fulfilling the dream of democracy. More free. Not ever truly free, but more free. Um, thanks for the gift sub. Yeah, so Swiss-style democracy. I think Swiss-style democracy, um, what little I know of it, you happen to have a magical rectangle in your pocket, and so do I, that has the compendium of all human knowledge, but it also has the ability to communicate with everyone in this world, and you can decide for yourself. What's important to you? I'm actually happy with this right now. I want to see how Red gets out of this problem. Because Red is out generating both of us, but... Me and Purple got a good thing going. Um, JK True, I believe the incentives are the best way to encourage collectively favorable actions. There's a thin line between being brainwashed to do something you and being truly free. Yeah, well, we are all victims of our brainwashing. Right? I think we are all more controlled than we might realize. Uh, Rob Ford would have understood as truly a man of the people. <laughs> exactly. Rob Ford was, uh, was a special case, wasn't he? What is my solution to the problem? I agree with you. I just want to hear your opinion. What problem? So you vote on everything every day? Yes. Yes. You vote on everything. Not every day. Yes! Purple hits red. Beautiful. You, there would be a um, upvote system that would continually revise the law on an ongoing basis. And whenever something reaches a set threshold, it would the referendum would be called and everyone who cared to vote would do so. And if you, did, if you didn't care, it wouldn't be relevant to you and you wouldn't. And that's how I see that working. Um, so it's a great country, kind of wish I lived there. As an American, I've seen how giving everyone to the power to vote doesn't work. I believe that. People are very dumb and easy um, to manipulate. Yes, and we see more war. I win this game. I win this game. I win this game. I love it. 
Uh, Slothian, I think that freedom is different for everyone. Yeah, yeah. We, we touched on that a bit earlier, that um, there are different ideas of freedom, and everyone sees it slightly differently. Uh, they've, JK says they have annual elections on the most important things, and the more mundane things get decided by elected officials who are everyday working people. Yeah, so I would, I would get rid of the idea of elected officials entirely. I don't think we need um, an expert as far as the institution. I think what you would do is you would hire um, administrators based on merit. You wouldn't elect them based on any other reason. I don't think... Um, I think we need to do completely do away with the idea of voting for people. That seems absurd. Um, I don't think I want to be ruled by the votes of people who throw trash out of their car or wear Crocs. Yeah, well, then you want to continue to be in a... Um, benevolent dictatorship, as you said, right? And that's fine. I think your I think your position, Lewis, is very common when uh, of of thoughtful people that freedom is too dangerous to let the heathens have their um, maybe heathens is a bit much of a word, but oh fuck, I still got him. Right to let the the idiots have too much power over you. Hmm. Happy I won that one. And he quit. There we go. And we go back up to an even record. This is a quick show, 41 minutes. Look at that, guys. Oh, got it in. Um, I think I'm way behind in chat, sorry. Yeah, I'm also, I'm falling behind now too. Maddie says, if real freedom doesn't have borders, you only find them on a map. This was the first time I ever felt threatened to drive across my country due to a personal choice. Hey man, I made a, I think I made the opposite choice and I still felt threatened, so. We are all inundated by this um, obscene failure of those who would purport to be our leaders. I mean, I'm saying well played to someone who isn't even here, so... Well played. <laughs> Alright, we go 20 and 20. Uh, Pete, are you doing another match? No, I gotta go to work. I gotta go to work, work tonight, which is a bummer. Alright, I tried ten different times. Twitch won't let me gift anymore? Why not? They don't want your free money? Sylvian says, don't you think that would allow violence if we didn't in some sort of... Violence is the realm of the police and the realm of soci a healthy society to control, right? If you put money into education and people weren't impoverished, violence would violent crime goes down precipitously. Novice defeating one novice, three beginners and intermediate. And we rank up to My rank doesn't change. It doesn't change right off the bat. I wonder what's going on with that one. Um let me finish the finish the chat before signing off because I am enjoying the the conversation. Um, oh, is this camera not set up? Oh, I gotta set up the camera again? Really? Guess I have to set up the camera again, that's too bad. Okay. Yes, all we need is a benevolent dictator who will never be corrupted and appoint a great successor. Really, I've got no solutions. Yeah, no, I get it, man. And I'm, I'm not necessarily claiming that I have them either. But I am happy to use this platform to open up a honest public conversation about the topic. And that's all. Right? I'm not selling shit to any of you, and you are free to disagree with me. And I enjoy when you do. Uh, it was the Australia win. Thank you. Bull says, we need to fix the education system along with other stuff. It's making more and more idiots by the day. Oh, it's just one of the problems. Um, I don't know if you guys have looked into statistics that show the precipitous drop-off in violent crime in the United States in the early 90s, which correlates to 18 years after Roe v. Wade. What a shock. 
All these unwanted kids aren't born, all of a sudden violent crime goes down. Correlation or causation? I'll leave that one up to you. Uh, oh shit, I'm getting a storm. I'm finally not getting it. Yeah, I'm getting a storm, so I gotta go. Um, it says there's an error. It won't let you gift sub. Well, that's too bad. In Finland, the Supreme Court hires its own members, making it a self-perpetuating system. So far, it has worked with zero corruption. <laughs> yeah, that sounds realistic. I think the president might have a veto right, but it's never been used. What is up, Daddy Pete? I'm good, Orange. I'm good. Interesting. Something tells me the already corrupt government of America wouldn't follow that route. No. All right, guys. I, I do treasure the conversation. Um... Let's raid RJ. Seeing how are you not are you not online anymore, RJ? Did you go offline? Well, then I guess we're raiding Spud. I guess we're raiding old Spudford. Cheers, guys. It was a it was a quick one. Yeah, I am Mr. Plow. I am Mr. Plow right now. So uh, sorry, it was a short but sweet interlude. We can continue this chat another time. Thank you all so much for watching. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Come along the ride with me. I have a daily show on YouTube. I do this show, Fix Friday. Every Friday, I do the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast on Wednesdays and every other day. I do whatever I feel like. And until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck. And thank you all for spending this time with me.